Stingy with affections. Page of Cups reversed. Someone may be holding back their emotions or feelings for you guys. This person may like be holding back um, like as far as kissing someone or um, hugging or something like that. King of Cups reversed. Maybe they're in a bad mood or something like that. Ten of Wands. This could be a masculine that's stressed, got a lot going on, got a lot of duties or responsibilities, got a lot of things to take care of. Three of Swords. Star Reversed. There could be some sadness going on or maybe a loss, a family loss. This could person could be depressed. They could be holding back emotionally because some other stuff's going on that they don't want to talk about or something. Someone is just revving up their car and stuff outside. What the heck? King of Wands. Temperance. Here's another masculine energy. Temperance. King of Wands. This could be um, a masculine energy not showing much affection to another masculine energy or upset with them. This doesn't just have to be romantic either. They're, oh, Five of Cups reverse, Hanged Man reverse. They're looking at a situation like someone's getting ready to move on. Someone could be grieving. I see grief, disappointment. Some of you guys, someone's like just not in love no more. It could be that. Someone's been holding on and stuff like that, but this hanged man reversed or stalling, delays. Seven of Wands, Queen of Wands, Page of Swords reversed. Okay, so there's a feminine energy here too. This could be a friendship too. Some of you guys, this could be someone that was trying to tell someone to leave you or something like that or to leave a, a, a woman behind or a female behind. There's some kind of anger I'm sensing. Whoever this King of Cups reversed is some masculine energies in their feelings and their emotions. They're feeling like someone's pulling back or something or Losing interest and starting to move on. Two wands reversed, nine of cups. It's like someone's trying to block, create blockages or something. I just heard something like he's finding out the truth. He gave me something about he's finding out about deception. One of these men is finding out about some deception. One of these men keep blind to somebody. One of these masculine energies could be real clingy, manipulative.
concern. Somebody's concerned. What are they concerned about? There's some kind of heartbreak. There could be cheating going on or just a, a third party situation. Journey. They're concerned about something about a journey. They could be concerned that this person, this could be a masculine energy concerned that you're about to go towards someone else. Something about house, house change, courtship, thief reverse. They're getting caught. Something about a man is here. Someone's getting caught. Some deception is getting exposed. Maybe they was trying to manipulate someone in a courtship or someone else's courtship. Something about some reflexes. Spirit says reflexes. What the heck? Oh my God. Okay, someone may be going to someone's house or moving out of house. Concern. They feel like they don't care. Care reversed. Parented patron support. Someone's looking at a situation like, oh, so you're just going to leave now? Origin, initiation. Someone's about to initiate something and do something. Go somewhere or something. There's a chariot here. nightmares they're scared or something show us this king of cups reversed maybe they're trying to keep someone stuck in the house frustration frustrated they're frustrated emotionally frustrated by something Maybe because someone's been stingy with affections and stuff. They feel like somebody don't care. They've been trying to block or stop someone from leaving. Some of you guys, they've been trying to block or stop a feminine energy or female from leaving. Frustrated. Jupiter in Gemini third house this is someone in the environment or home someone in your surroundings could be family or friends too indecision reverse someone came out of some indecisive energy they see the truth this is libra energy seventh house they may not want to be with that person no more or they don't want to live there no more they thought they was keeping somebody stuck forever or something. They could have had an outburst. Mars and Capricorn, this flew out reversed. Restless, caution. Aries energy, Virgo energy. Mercury and Aries, Mercury and Virgo. Someone may be thinking about taking off or doing something. They cried when no one was around. They cried. They could want you to chase them. Whoever this is cried. King of Cups reverse. This very well could be a masculine. You're not showing this person no love or affection or something. Or you pull him back. He cried or something. 
I enjoy being with you. I don't like being here anymore. I just don't have a choice right now. Yes, yeah, someone don't like being in a house or home. House change. Journey. They're about to get in a train or this chariot energy and about to be gone. You guys heard that uh, car revving up in the background. <laughs> Everything in the reading is relevant. Yeah, they're about to leave. Some of you guys, someone wants to get back together. Bravery. It is now time to stay strong and stay positive and allow yourself to move forward now. Someone's about to move forward and leave. This person is restless. He knows you're about to leave or something. What is he crying about? What's someone crying about? King of Cups reversed, Temperance reversed. Is some masculine energy sad? Or some man possibly sad? He could, he could be losing his temper. Or some outburst, emotional outburst, moody, in a bad mood and stuff, volatile, emotionally immature. Yeah. Hanged man, eight of cups, you're about to leave. He feels like he's losing you. Eight of cups, hanged man, knight of pentacles. Maybe you're going to go commit to something else or someone else. He's looking at it like your loyalties are lying elsewhere. Some of you guys, he could know that you're getting ready to be with someone else or get back with someone else. I don't like being here. I just don't have a choice right now. Seven of Swords reverse, King of Cups upright. Okay. So one of these masculines is sad and one of them is happy, possibly in love, could be in love with a king of wands or a queen of wands. Take the gender where it resonates, the devil. Yeah, this is an unhealthy situation. It's toxic. It's codependent. Um, whoever this is crying is trying to keep someone binded. They're getting caught. Some deception or manipulation or bluff is getting caught. Some truth is getting exposed. Some of you guys, it could be involving cheating or something or some deception. Yeah, spirits let me know. Um, His energy is, he may not be outright saying this, but his energy is like, oh, so you just going to go over there? You just gonna go over there now? Yeah, look, he's in the Nine of Swords, Temperance, Knight of Pentacles, Reverse. He's stressing because he sees you healing or something, or you're trying to heal a situation with someone else, or you're gonna travel, Sagittarius energy. You may be going towards a twin flame or something, or taking them out on a date, or something about travel, journey, change. Maybe he maybe he feels like you were disloyal to him. You don't even really want to be there. Yeah, you're in the four cups. Someone's in the four cups, bored. Lovers reverse. This could be someone breaking up. Six of pentacles, three of wands breaking up or a breakdown in a relationship. There's tension, disharmony. Yeah. You're not interested, so you're bored. He's he's crying or having some kind of outburst. Could be trying to hide it from you. Y'all could be thinking about packing up is what I'm saying.
Okay, Nightmare. Two of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. This person is paranoid and stuff. Five of Swords. They're paranoid about you getting ready to leave, possibly. They can't handle what's going on. Oh my God, there's a tower right behind that. Tower King of Swords. Okay, whoever this masculine is, he realizes you found out the truth or something like that. 